The last trading sessions are complete and the team's locked in. We're now on the final countdown to the NRL Grand Final. The Panthers and the Broncos were both at a core stadium today and both confident they can lift the Proven Summons trophy tomorrow. Hunting a three-peat of premierships, the Panthers couldn't be feeling more comfortable. Shoes and socks came off for their last session of the season. All smiles, not even breaking a sweat. From here on in, the work's been done, but it's just about you know, getting your head right and relaxing and uh, just you know, going over the, the process. And that's um, what we've you know, preached you know, day in, day out, all season. While Penrith played passing games at a core stadium... Brisbane were all business. There was no discussion of Reese Walsh's running with a fan. Oh, I'm not going to give that any energy. I, yeah, this is grand final. He's one of four Broncos to have never stepped foot on this ground, making Adam Reynolds' experience as a Rabbitoh all the more crucial. And he's played over, he's had nearly 100 games here, so for our captain uh, and our leader to, to have that much experience at this stadium is, is great. I think it's really important for us as well. No one knows grand final day better than the Panthers, though. After four straight appearances, this week they haven't changed a thing. You know, we had a good prep last last year and, you know, probably played the best game of the season on the grand final day. So we've done similar stuff this week, so hopefully it's the same sort of result. But today, a warning from Kevin Walters. The Broncos are coming. We haven't played our best football yet. Um, I keep saying that uh, and... You know, we'll save it for the biggest stage. It'll be tomorrow night. Both teams today feeling the sense of occasion. Tomorrow, they'll be feeling the heat. The temperature is set to reach 37 degrees here at Accor Stadium. Even at kickoff, it'll still be 31. Well, that's Queensland weather, isn't it? So that's perfect for the Broncos. Yeah. And it probably hasn't been to Penrith that often. <laughs> Sam Jordan, 9 News.